In this video, you'll find out how to shortlist your applicants using NHS Jobs. Once the advert is closed and the shortlisting lead has scored all applications, they will be able to select the shortlist. Once this choice is confirmed, no one will be able to change the scores. Select Start Shortlisting and you'll see anonymous information about your applicants, including the scores they received if you scored online, whether they're at risk, want to be considered for a guaranteed interview if they meet the minimum criteria as a member of the armed forces family, or wish to be considered under the Disability Confidence Scheme if they meet the minimum criteria. Although this information is anonymous until shortlisting is complete, super users can access the contact details of your applicants should they be needed. You can choose not to shortlist any of the applicants by choosing the link or select the applicants you wish to interview by selecting the boxes and selecting continue. You can still review the details of unsuccessful applicants, change your selection or confirm that these are the applicants you want to interview. Once you confirm your shortlist, you'll be able to see the personal details of the applicants and will also then choose if you want a reserve shortlist. If you don't want a reserve list of applicants who you can add to your list of applicants you want to interview, just select no. But if you do, select yes, save and continue, and then select the checkbox next to the applicants you want to add to the reserve list, and then continue. Now you can change or confirm your reserve list. Any applicants not selected for interview or added to your reserve list will receive a rejection email at this point. Now you can download the applications you received as PDFs, and then once you're ready, Start inviting your successful applicants by selecting Invite to Interview.